Hey, greetings everybody. Pastor David G. Grogan Sr. I'm the senior pastor at Sojourner Life Ministries in San Antonio, Texas. And I am the voice of Phoenix's Javelin. Um, blessing to be with y'all uh, again on today. If you like what you hear on my videos, I ask that you subscribe to my videos. Uh, Pastor David G. Grogan Sr. When you see the notification bell, ring the bell. Ding! When you ring the bell, you'll be notified when my videos come out. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down and leave your comments, okay? Um, I do read all of your comments. Like I said, I often say I don't answer them all, but I do read them all, okay? Uh, my uh, uh, subscription uh, subscribers are going up and down, you know, up and down, up and down, never, never, never uh, topping uh, 450, but you know, uh, I, I believe uh, censorship is in play with that. Uh, and I think a lot of times, you know, people just don't wanna hear uh, truth and righteousness. So if they'll listen to a little bit and they cut you off if they don't subscribe, but that's all right. We're gonna press on, press on because the word of God says, uh, Jesus Christ said it himself in John 8 and 32. And he said, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And there's a lot of people today that want freedom, but they don't want to, they, they want freedom without the truth. They just want freedom any kind of way they can get it. You know, they want their flesh to be free. They want, they want to make themselves free. They want to uh, uh, have you believe that you're free um, as, and, and, and as long as you do the things that they do. And, and that's not the truth. The truth is in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ is the truth. Um, he's the way, the truth, and the life. And no one gets to the Father except for through Jesus Christ. All right. With that said, I'm going to go on into this uh, particular article. Um, you know, hypocrisy is a terrible thing, y'all. We have seen it in abundance over the years. Over the years, you know, through the different administrations, we've seen hypocrisy. This is like over the, you know, at, at 62 years old, I recognize uh, trends and I recognize when things have gotten, um, to uh, a, a boiling point to where they really have transitioned into a different uh, phase of a, of, of, a, of, a tr of a trend. You know, it goes like, you know, you go from here, you plateau, and then you go up, you plateau, you go up, and you plateau. Where now we are in a time where you see uh, in the last, I would venture to say, 20 years, there has been a really huge uh, trend uh, towards hypocrisy where um, uh, people want you to, um, do as they say and not as they do and in doing that they want you to do what they think is right but the same thing that they want to tell you is right they themselves don't want to do it why because they think that they're above that very thing that they're telling you to do they're above that and so they don't put themselves in the same category that they put you in as far as these people are concerned, especially when it comes down to this political processes and the things that we're in now, these people want you to believe that they are your savior. They're the ones that know what's best for you. They're the ones that 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 know how to uh, know what you need better than you know what you need. Uh, Paul the apostle said it best when he said, "But my God shall supply all of your need according to your, His riches and glory by who." by Christ Jesus. So it's Jesus Christ that, so, that provides the needs that you have. And those needs come by God through Christ Jesus. These hypocrites, they don't know what you need. They don't even know what they need. And But they will tell you and direct you to do the things that are not good for you, while at the same time, not doing, once again, those things themselves. They'll tell you what they think you should do, but they won't do them themselves. There are a bunch of openly pathetic hypocrites and they're monsters y'all let me tell you something i have not seen in all of my years except for in the last probably four years when these people donald trump wasn't a perfect man and he did some things that i wish he would not do he could have stayed off of twitter there's some things that he did that he couldn't that he did he didn't do but the one thing i can say about him is that he his 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 love for this country is far above, far above the love that these people, that they're trying to tell you what to do, they're trying to tell you that they have a love for this country, and they don't. They don't love you, and they don't love this country. So I've not seen in, in these last six to eight years more um, devious, um, uh, insidious personalities than I have seen today. It's terrible, y'all. And I know many of you, if you tell the truth, you've seen it yourself. You've noticed that people have gotten it increasingly evil in their ways, in the way that they deal with each other. The whole spectrum 
of the political process has become has become uh, uh, um, um, infected with an evil cancer that grows. And if you know anything about cancer, cancer has the ability to turn itself into the particular uh, um, thing that is trying to infect. It know cancer has an uncanny, un, ungodly, evil ability to be able to destroy things from the inside out by trying to duplicate that particular thing, but at the same time infecting it. And so in our society today, we see this insidious, dark, um, evil spirit that roams the land, takes advantage of people that are weak and don't, that, that, are, that are willing to openly rebel against God because there's none that can stand against Satan. You can't, I can't, nobody else can. The only one that can stand against Satan that has already, de that has already defeated Satan is Jesus Christ. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The only one, the only, the Trinity, the only one that has de 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 openly defeated Satan is God. And so now we're down here with these hypocrites. We're down here with these evil people, y'all, that you can see it in their eyes. If you will watch their eyes, watch their eyes, y'all. Watch these people's eyes that they have no love for you. They have no true love. They are hypocrites. They're phonies. They're telling you things. They'll lie to you openly in your face. As you've also heard it said, they will pee on your leg and tell you that it's rain. And they expect you to believe it. So let me go ahead and go to this article. Let me read this article so I don't run out of time. This is um, article is out of The Blaze. It's dated September the 11th, 2021. And the title of the article is Members of Congress, Their Staffs, Will Be Exempt from Biden's Federal Vaccine Mandate. So if I have to do it, why don't they have to do it? If you have to do it, why don't they have to do it? Why? It's because they're hypocrites. They're hypocrites. They want to heap all this weight on you, but they don't want to carry no load themselves. So while President Joe Biden is using a legally questionable, let me get this up a little higher so I can keep on going, a legally questionable statute to enforce what is essentially a vaccine mandate on the American workforce, members of Congress, their staffs, and anyone who works in Congress will reportedly be exempt from the mandate. So what is the background? Biden announced Thursday a sweeping vaccine mandate that requires business uh, employing more businesses employing more than 1,000 more, more than 100 people to require vaccination for employees or force employees uh, submit to routine COVID-19 testing. The mandate, which will impact an estimated 80 million Americans, is being issued as an emergency uh, temporary standard from the uh, Labor Department via the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Uh, National Review explained that that uh, explained what it means. In other words, the rule will be exp expedited to avoid uh, to avoid the comment period that typically allows those who would be affected by a given order to weigh in. While OSHA has authority to set certain health and safety standard in the, in the work, workplace, it would be stretching its authority to claim that it can be used as a means to facilitate broader public health goals. Just this July, the Congressional Research Service updated a report on their emergency standard and noted that OSHA, quote, has, has rarely used this authority in the past, not since the courts struck down its ETS and, and asbestos in 1983. Meanwhile, federal workers and federal contractors will be subject to a wholesale vaccine mandate, as well as health care uh, workers who work in facilities that receive Medicare and Medicaid funding. So why does this mandate not apply to Congress? The New York Times reported that Biden's mandate, quote, will apply to employees of the executive branch, including the White House and all federal agencies and members of the armed, armed services, a workforce that numbers more than 4 million, but not to those who work for Congress uh, or the federal court system, according to the White House, uh, according to White House officials. The reason workers outside the executive branch are exempt is because Biden's implementing the mandate via executive order. So he's gone around Congress to do this, 
and because he's gone around Congress to do it and done it done it by an, an executive order, Congress they say is not um, is not under is, is Congress is going to be exempt from the mandate. So uh, so verify confirmed. Uh, citing the Congressional Institute, the Biden's, the, uh, uh, that Biden quote cannot impose a vaccine mandate on Congress via executive order or in an agency of uh, department. Uh, uh, regulation, unquote. Meanwhile, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has said the, the House will not enact a vaccine mandate. Quote, we uh, we cannot require someone to be vaccinated. That's just not what we can do. It is it is a matter of privacy to uh, know who is or who isn't. I, I, I can't go to the Capitol of uh, Physicians and say, give me the give me the names of the people who aren't vaccinated so I can go encourage them or make it uh, make it known to others to encourage them to be vaccinated. So we can't. We can't do it, Pelosi said in April. End of article. So, Mrs. Pelosi, then why don't you just go and get your own? Get your vaccination. No, you can't make you no you you, you know, they can you know the executive order that that, that Mr. Biden is putting out can make me get a vaccination, make the soldiers on the on the on the fighting in the fighting force get vaccinations. And that's why I've been reading story after story, and you probably have two if you keep up with the news, of some of these uh, military men, and I'm gonna probably do one or two of them here shortly, that are they're giving up, they're giving look, they're giving up their pensions. They're, they're, they're saying no, I'm not gonna do it. That that is my personal right. Listen to me, y'all. That is my personal right to get a vaccination or not get a vaccination. The federal government should not impose that on anybody. I don't care if they are, if, if they're government employees, private employees, I don't care. That getting a shot in your body is, and listen to me, that's the choice that you make. Look at the hypocrisy. So you can have in the, in, in, in the, uh, in the political process, you can have transgender people Working in the White House, you can have the LGBTQI play A plus can do whatever they want to do. They can choose to be whoever they want to be. Men can walk into women's bathrooms and women can walk into men's bathrooms and you know they can do whatever they want to be. They can make they can make people that don't want to make cakes for them close up their shops. They can make people that don't want to, you know, make wedding dresses and stuff like that for them close up their shops. They can do whatever they want to do and get away with it. But what about me? Don't I have a choice? Don't I have a choice to say no? I don't want a shot. Don't I have a choice? Don't 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 the uh, three hundred some odd million people in the United States of America have a choice? Don't the ch soldiers on the fighting field have a choice? What if you give a shot to give a shot to a vaccination to a fighting force on the fighting field and they, and they get sick? They all get COVID, or they start dropping dead, or they get some of these malformities that that's that's coming from COVID from this COVID vac vaccination. But oh, but that that's all right as long as you can push your weight around. See, that's the thing. This president. In his administration, they just want to push their weight around, y'all. They just want to push their weight around. They want they want to make mandates. They want to they want to tell you what you can and can't do. They're gonna promise you stuff. They made they look all of you people out there that voted this administration in. Shame on you. I'm gonna say it over and over again because you voted this man in. You voted him in. You voted Kamala Harris in. You kept Nancy Pelosi has been in there because she's allowed to run hot shot over people. She must have a lot of dirt on a lot of people. Because she's allowed to run hot shot over people. And then here they are. They want to tell you. They want to tell me how I'm supposed to live my life. What shot I can take. What I can't take. What I have to do. It's, it's wrong, y'all. It's wrong. If I have to do it, they should have to do it. If, 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 the, if, the, if the executive branch should have to do it and they're in the political processes for this country, then the Congress should have to do it. And their staff. All of them should have to do it. They're, they're the ones that are they're the ones that are supposed to love this country. They're the ones that are supposed to love this country and doing the best for this country. They should all have to do it. But you know what? They're a bunch of hypocrites, y'all. Nancy Pelosi is a hypocrite. This is a, her her own her own Catholic Church is ready to throw her out because of this whole thing with the, with the, with the abortion. She's she's gung ho for abortion, and the Catholic Church is saying no. We're not gung ho for abortion. We don't agree with abortion. But Nancy Pelosi is in because Nancy Pelosi agrees with abortion. You know, uh, uh, they have. You know, if I if I if I was if I was a bishop, I was in charge of the Catholic Church. She would have been excommunicated a long time ago, and and Joe Biden and any other Catholic, good Catholic, that are making all these all these abominable, ungodly um, um, decisions for people in their country. 
Allowing babies to be killed without, 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 without ceasing. Allowing babies to be destroyed, killed in the womb, outside of the womb, doing it and, and doing it and not and unrepentant about it. They're saying that they're doing it for the best of the people. They're doing it for the best of the women. The women should have a have a have a have an uh, have a have an ability to make a if the woman should have ability to make a decision what they want to do with their own body and they can get abortions, then why should I not be able to have the uh, um, the, the choice of what I do want to do with my own body and not get a shot if I don't want to get a shot? They're a bunch of hypocrites, y'all. They are outright, openly in your face, unashamedly abominable hypocrites. And they're going to die if they don't repent of that hypocrisy, if they don't get right with God, if they don't get in line with God. See, my whole thing is being in line with God. That's my whole thing, is being in line with God. These people, these people, want, these people want me to do, they want me, they want me to be a part of their dirt. And I'm not going to be a part of their dirt. I'm not going to be a part of their dirt, y'all. They're hypocrites. So, you know, when, when somebody starts telling you to do something, you know, and they're not doing it themselves, keep in mind, you need to question, well, if, okay, are you going to do it? Now, you want, you say that I have to do it, or, or do you have to do it? If they tell you, well, no, I don't have to do it because, because I'm such and such, I'm such and such. Well, you tell well, I said, I don't have to do it either because I'm such and such and such and such. What makes you more important than me? What makes your life, what makes your life more important than my life? God says, the word of God says that he's not a respect of person, which means he looks at everybody the same way. God loves everybody. He'll save everybody. But for all those that openly rebel against him, they'll be cast into hell. Everybody will do that. He's the same yesterday, today, forevermore. He doesn't change. He doesn't vacillate. He's not wishy-washy the way uh, of the, this, the, the administrations are of this country and around the world nowadays. They, 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 they do things according to their own flesh, their ego, their pride, their desire for power to push and oppress and step on people. That's what they're doing. I don't care what color they are. You know, black people talk about that's the way the white people did them back in slavery and stuff like that. Look at the black, look at what's happening now. You got black people treating white people the same way, pushing their weight around, you know, uh, uh, making people do what they want them to do, call them this and call them that based on what happened 300, 400 years ago. They're just, just, they're just as daily and as and, and serious and hypocr hypocritical as, 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 they, as they were back then. But this thing right here, this has got to stop, y'all. This has got to stop. You know, this do as I say, not as I do attitude. That's exactly what this is. Do as I say and not as I do. And it's wrong. You let me make the choice of what I want to do with my life. You let my wife make the choice. You let us make the choice for our own children our own grandchildren. You let our children make a make make the choice what they want to do with their children. You just take care of yourself. If you want the shot, you get the shot. If you don't want the shot, don't get the shot. But don't don't force it don't don't force it on people. I wear my mask. I do the things I'm supposed to do when I go to the store. I wash my hands. We sanitize. We sanitize, we sanitize the house, sanitize the church, sanitize, you know, we are closed. We do all the things that we need to do. But, but when it comes down to that shot, I'm not going to take that shot until I'm ready to take that shot. And it's wrong for anybody to make me do it and then turn around and say that they're not going to do it. That's hypocrisy, y'all. That's evil. That's mean. That's oppression. And that's exactly what these people are trying to do. So with that said, if you're not saved, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. Because if you get saved... Your, with salvation will come the Holy Spirit. He will come and make his abode in you and he will open up your understanding, y'all, to the things that are going on. If you make the profession with your mouth that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and rose on the third day with all power, and then you believe that with your heart, the word of God says, you shall be saved because you profess it with your mouth and you believe with your heart unto righteousness. So if you call upon the name of the Lord today, you shall be saved. If you're a sinner, if you've been in the church and you sin, if you're sinning, the word of God says, if you confess your sins before God to God with a sincere heart, that he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. You could be restored unto the righteousness of God, especially those of you that are saved. And those for those of you that are not saved, that's how you start to receive salvation. Just admit first that you're a sinner and the Lord will forgive you of that sin. And he will save you. All right. Listen to me. This is a terrible time that we're living in. Lots of things that are going on. Lots of news out there. I get, you know, I kind of go back and reach back and kind of get things I need to catch up on. But we're going to keep on going. I'm not going anywhere unless they take me off the uh, YouTube or whatever they're going to do. I don't, it just doesn't matter to me. Whatever they want to do is fine. 
Uh, I'm going to keep on going until that time. Okay. So with that said, y'all, uh, watch out for the hypocrisy. You determine what you're going to do. You make the decision what you're going to do. You think about it, pray about it, especially those of you that are saved. And for those of you that are not saved, well, that decision is up to you to make, however you make it. Okay. With that said, God bless you. Love you until we come back together again in the next video. Farewell, everybody.